Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Before we start, we have a little short video uh, made by Abdul. And uh, he looks somehow terrified. Uh, this is uh, Sheikh Uthman. He is very brave. And he challenged me to debate him if I come to face to face only. But he cannot talk to me unless it is true face to face. Uh, he said in the video he got a phone call from the FBI. Alhamdulillah wa salatu salam ala Rasulillah. I got a call from the FBI um, letting me know that their report had been uh, called in that last Sunday I had made some terrorist threats or something at Balboa Park. Now, um, let me make this clear. Whoever thinks, and hmm, I wonder who would make such a comment. Oh, that's Muhammad. The one who made terrorist a threat, you don't dare to make it. You are just an idiot. You are just a kid. You don't dare even to say what your prophet saying. And this is my challenge for you, Potato. Do you dare even to read this in the park? Do you dare? You are wearing burqa. You don't dare even to say what Islam is about. So now you receive a little call from the FBI. You are doing poo poo. And you are accusing who? Who called the FBI for you? Who? Hmm, who? And why you are worried? You are a mujahid, aren't you? Why you don't say any mujahid? Huh? Why you don't say what the Americans are occupying Afghanistan? Don't you want to do jihad to free your country? You are a Pashtun. Aren't you Pashtun? Ah, you are wearing the burqa. Takiya <laughs> mood. Hey, are you the one who reported your, my video to copyright to YouTube? Who is the coward? <laughs> and guys, the video is very funny. And then he said, I swear by Allah, we will not stop doing dawah. I swear by Allah. You know, guess what? Those Christian prince and those people, they are doing this because of money. Money unlike you guys. I challenge you guys, the princess, the crook, hammer time, Hashimu, all of you guys, I challenge you guys, cancel your Patreon accounts. Get rid of your monetization on your channel. Stop taking money from your people. You, you're duping your people. You're doing this for money. If you're not doing it for money, I challenge you guys, like me, do it for just the pleasure of your... <laughs> Abdul, son of Muta. All my life, I'm fighting Islam. Actually, the first time I had battery on, it was 2016. Which means, most of my life, I did not get a penny from people as a nation. However, look at this son of Muta. He said, not like me. I went to his website and look what it says here. Please donate. <laughs> you coward. Not like you. Is that your website? It says, please donate. And we don't have modernization in my YouTube. You see, because we are people who see the truth. And me, myself, I give most of my books for free. I don't have organization supporting me. So you are saying it like me, and you have a donation option in your website, which means even you make it under organization so you don't pay tax. So you coward, if you are a man, say in the park what Islam teach. Stop wearing a burqa of taqiyya, and stop collecting donation. And if you are a man, call me, or let me call you. But you are just a kid, muta boy. And the burqa doesn't fit on you because you became so choppy of the food you are eating after Ramadan. So muta boy, I have a challenge for you. Do you dare to make a challenge to Christian Prince and stand in the middle of the park and you hold a speaker in your hand and say, hey guys, I will tell you what will happen to the Jews. I will tell you what the prophet said. Do you dare to read it? If you dare, I will say this guy is a man. Honest to God, I will make a video say this guy is brave. I will give you three days to go to the park. You know what? Do it in, the, in, in Saturday. Don't you go on Saturday and Sunday? I challenge you, you coward, to speak loud and open, says Allahu Akbar. The Prophet, he told us to fight the Jews. And the Prophet, he said the following. And I want you to, you know what? I want you to print it and put it in your tent 24 hours a day, if you dare. But you are wearing a book and you don't dare. <laughs> 
and stop taking donation, uh, Sam Samun, because we don't take donation. What a coward you are! Like your profit. Now we go to our topic. I just wanted to give him a spanking. This video appeared in front. I mean, this guy is not even worth to talk to him. Do you remember the video? He he made a copyright claim. You coward! You coward! You see the one who make a copyright claim. Obviously, he cannot debate me because even a video I make to respond to you, you don't want it. You don't dare to hear it. You don't want anyone to see it because you are a potato. So who is the one wearing the burqa? The worker of uh, copyright? <laughs> And by the way, I'm thinking to go and make a donation for you. <laughs> I think the that he forgot that he have a website. Anyway. <coughs> you're so cute. And by the way, your voice is like you are doing poo, poo because the FBI called you. What happened? What can you tell us what they said to you? <laughs> You made a threat? I don't believe it. I will never believe it. You are a potato. Even when David Wood, who ate the Quran, came in front of you, you gave him five and you call him bro. So I don't know how the FBI even will believe like a potato like you can make a threat. You're a cuckoo. Fufu. The one who ate the Quran, you gave him five and you call him bro. And you do it even more than one time. The VI called me. <coughs> they call you to tell you you are just a puppy. Go and say what you dare to say if you dare to say, but you don't dare to say what you want to say because you are wearing burqa. And here we go again the challenge in front of you. Do you dare to read what your prophet said and threat the Jews that you will do this to them? Or you don't dare to say what your prophet said? Mm -hmm. Do you? Do you dare to print it? To put it in your tent? Make it a bag of ground of you? Do you, Burka boy? All of you, those who they are in YouTube, who live in the West, do you dare to print this behind you and put it in your tent when you go to the speaker corner or the park? Do you? Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Cowards. We Christians, we say what our book saying, and we have no shame to say. You Muslims, you wear Burka. You play taqiyya, protection, because you know that you are no match. You know that you are a coward. And I'm talking about people like you. you especially you, you are wearing clothes of Taliban, supposedly, and supposedly are a sheikh, and you call yourself sheikh, yet a sheikh who don't dare to say what his prophet said. What kind of a sheikh he is? A shaky one. And look at your voice. Your voice is really in trouble. Look at this voice. I got a call from the FBI uh -huh. um, letting me know that their report had been uh, called in that last Sunday I had made some terrorist. <laughs> some terrorist. <laughs> anyway, let us go to Netanyahu's story.